So, we got ourselves up nice and early this morning, popped up town, and got ourselves a Greg's. And by that, we actually mean that we went and got the new Greg or Eisenhorn model. Or Greg, as he should more commonly be yeah, known. Yeah, he's definitely a Greg. Also, my god, you can see the reflection of us. That is horrifying. So not only did we get the Greggy boy, we got a bit, a few bits of swag as well. We got the Black Library Celebration book, which is like a collection of six stories. Yeah, they're all things that were previously published on the internet. And they just give that away for free yeah, you just while get that. stocks last. Yeah, that. when you when you buy your Greg boy. It's so when yeah. you buy anything at the uh, that's part of the celebration. Yeah, we also got a lovely Black Library bookmark, which beats a Tesco gift card. Which is what I'm currently using, so yep. yeah. Got some buttons as well. Oh. See, I don't... When did people start calling them buttons? Because I always just called them a badge. I think it's an American thing. Oh, but yeah, okay. no, got some badges here. Got full grim, old Greg. <laughs> <laughs> old Greg. <laughs> Young Greg. He's uh, a I'm handsome just... boy. Look, there he is. Yeah. Look, he big. And I'm assuming this is a... That a, looks like an Age of Sigma one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's an Age of Sigma thing. Yeah. My nose is a pretty boy full groom. He's like, hello, I'm very pretty. That, that is how he sounds. That's exactly how yeah. he sounds. Thanks, Games Workshop, for making me the official voice of full grim. So, um, you know, goes to show it works out quite well um, to go and buy things on a Black Library weekender. Yeah, no. We uh, we actually got to, to like the store like just a little under 15 minutes early and they opened eight minutes early and this is the second last Greg we could get a hold of yeah there was only one left in the shop when we left yeah so, um... and we were literally one of the first people in you're not gonna trust me with a knife nope. okay oh it's free it's a shiny boy so yeah I think it's broken hmm that's a good fist Greg has I like that he has got a good fist yeah to be fair, I like this model better than the previous ones so much. It's almost as if it's like made like with more modern technology, technology, yeah. and it's just better. Well, I mean, the previous Greg model was old Greg, and then there was like old a, Greg. You there, say there was a one-off um, like Black Library thing they did a while back that doesn't look great as well. Yeah, but yeah, no, that's cool. And it's there we go. As we're talking about the Magus, the Magus, the Magus. The Magus. Yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, it's right. a new book that's, uh, that's coming out, which is why they're doing this. Yeah. Should I open it then? Yeah. Too yeah. late, I'm opening it. Yep. Let's have a look see. Oh, I'm... Don't... <sighs> you all right there? No. Are I you just... having problems with this cardboard box? No, I just box? don't... I don't want to bust it! There we go. It's Greg. Oh, that's a really cool base. Yeah, actually. I didn't notice the base. Yeah, it comes with a proper, like, uh, fancy base. Let's, uh... Okay. Let's have a... Get him out. Let's get... Let's free him. Okay. Yep, that's a base. Yeah, it is indeed a base. Okay. Let's look at the, hopefully we don't have any problems with that model. Yeah, it is fine cast, so you can never be too sure. I do really like that. That is super cool. That is very nice. Yeah, so we've got the base and that's mm -hmm. his... Uh, that's his staff. His guns and presumably some... Oh, it's part of his sleeve. Got his body and his booties. That's lovely. And his head. He's got his head. Oh, yeah, that's his a, head's there. Oh, he's a tiny little Greg head. He's a tiny Greg head. Oh, Look at that nose. He has a very defined nose, does Greg. Not as bad as the game, but still yeah. pretty good. Right, no. Okay. I'm quite happy with that. Got some good stuff there, my dear. Yeah, so we'll uh, assemble that in a second. Yeah. Um, so, let's see he's what got. He's got his own got. rules as well. Yeah, he comes with um, yeah, a little assembly guide with his rules, which I won't show too clearly because I'm pretty sure that probably breaks some kind of copyright law. I think it does, rules. yeah. So we can tell you... He does have rules, <laughs> so that's good. But yeah, no, so yeah, it's nice that you do get the uh, the rules for him so you can run him and whatever. Yeah, it's cool stuff. We should put him together. Yes. So I've very roughly assembled him using blue tack. And prayers for the emperor. And prayers, because he... He doesn't want to stay together, which is why we're not going to touch him at all. If we touch him, just like both of us, he will go to pieces. That is true. Um, the actual thing was mostly all right. There is a little bit on, on this shoulder over here. There is a, one. Yeah, a little bit of bubbliness, because yeah, well, it's still fundamentally fine guess. What can you do? Um, Doot. Yeah, he didn't fall apart. I'm so happy. <laughs> But yeah, as he goes for scale-wise, here's him next to a kind of normal, normal lovely boy marine. So he's a because of his base, he's a little bit taller. 
Yeah, than a regular old marine. Yeah, but next to a Primaris... He's, yeah... Yeah, it's not, yeah. It, it makes sense. I mean, after all, he is kind of a hero character, so... It does make sense that he's bigger. But yeah, um, so that's the, you know, Black Library Celebration Eisenhorn model. Um, hope you enjoyed this weird little video on it. Yeah, and go get yourself a Greg's. <laughs> Not necessarily this one, like, go get yourself a steak bake or whatever. Oh, yeah, steak bakes are really good. The coffee's good there, too. Or get maybe get yourself a donut. You could, you could. Yeah, it could be a council house, Greg or Eisenhorn. We are not sponsored by Greg's, by the way. But we should be. But we should be. <laughs>